Hey guys, Mike Morelli here today with an extremely important podcast. And the reason for this is because there is nothing in the world that destroys a man's happiness, peace, freedom, and success more than an attachment. An attachment is the belief that someone or something is responsible for your happiness. An attachment isn't a fact. It's a state of clinging. It's a belief. And with that said, beliefs are neither true or false, right or wrong, good or bad. The reason why we evaluate our beliefs is to see which of these beliefs are helping us and which beliefs are harming us. And in the case of an attachment, if you are not truly living the life that you want, if you are not as happy and as peaceful and successful as you want to be, then the overwhelming chances are that you have an attachment or attachments. Now, how do you know if you have an attachment? First, look at the things that you ascribe tremendous value and meaning and importance to. Money, relationship, approval, business growth. Look at these things that you stress over on a daily basis. Look at these things that fill you with anxiety, tension, and worry. Another way to understand if you have an attachment is to look at the things that you ascribe meaning towards and and, and imagine you losing that thing or that person. Watch what happens within you. Watch how you're filled with fear, tension, anxiety, and worry. This is how you know that you have an attachment. Now, where do do attachments come from? Attachments come from our beliefs. Again, an attachment is a belief that someone or something is responsible for your happiness. Where did you get that idea? So our beliefs come from our conditioning and our programming, the things we've heard, the things that we've seen, and the things that we've experienced. Let's use the, the example of someone who believes that money will bring them happiness. Where did they get that idea? They were never born with that idea. And in fact, someone in a different country, specifically when I was in Fiji in 2016 after the biggest natural disaster that they've experienced in the Southern Hemisphere in decades, I went into a poor rural village where people were living under tin roofs and I slept there for a night. There was never a talk of money. These people were some of the happiest people that I have ever met in my entire life. And their village was just completely recently decimated. Now, in a different culture, with a different programming, specifically we'll use the example of America, you are conditioned from a very young age to believe that Money is your source of happiness. And because of that, people attribute excess meaning to money. Therefore, let's use the example of a guy who wants to take his entrepreneurial idea and have it be his full-time income. There's nothing wrong with that, as I used to be that person. Again, there's no such thing as right or wrong. So, because this person attributes excess meaning to making money, maybe he has this idea of financial freedom. If he doesn't feel that he's making the amount of money that he needs or to live his ideal lifestyle, he lives in a constant state of tension, anxiety, worry, and stress. It's not enough to do the work that we were born to do. No, society has conditioned us to believe that we need tons of money to be happy. When we know that this isn't the case, purely based on the fact that there are plenty of people without money, who are happy. So, our attachments come from our beliefs. Now, if an attachment comes from our beliefs, what do we do? Let's say that you, again, are an example of an entrepreneur who wants to make, let's say, $10,000 a month. Do you give up the $10,000 because you have an attachment? No, you don't give up the, the idea of making more money. Again, if you want to achieve financial freedom and wealth, By all means, go for it. But it is the understanding that it's not the money that is going to make you happy. The happiness is going to come from the action. The action of you doing the work that you love. Doing the work that provides you with a feel, a soul feeling. A feeling that comes from nature. The feeling that comes from being on the top of a mountain summit. The feeling of doing the things that you can't even describe why you truly love to do what you do, 
but you do it anyways for the purity of what that is. And when you do that, the money will come. And the reason for this is because money is an effect. It is not the cause. And this is the case with attachments. People believe that someone or something is the cause of their happiness. And this is not the case. Now, the reason how attachments affect your happiness, your peace and success is that these are the act these are the things that actually are restricting you from achieving happiness, peace, success, and all your dreams and goals. And the reason for this is because when we have an attachment, we start acting out in ways that are not us. We start generating tremendous amounts of stress, anxiety, tension, and worry. And if we understand the way that energy moves in nature, when energy gets blocked, right, it's trying to go somewhere. Right? Like water rushing down a mountain stream. And instead of being like water and hitting the rock and simply moving around it, when we have an attachment, we try to force things. We try to be like water that tries to go through the rock. And when we try to force things, we're not op operating in our natural state. We start saying things that we shouldn't say. We start acting out in ways that are completely inauthentic. We start scrambling around and running around like a chicken with our head cut off living in a constant state of anxiety, tension, and worry. Thus, the reason why we continue to experience the same cycles over and over again in our life. So, these are how attachments affect us. These are what they are, and these are where they come from. And naturally, someone may ask the question, can I still be happy and successful while having attachments? After listening to this podcast, what do you think? Now, if you want to take a deeper dive into understanding your beliefs and where they come from so that you can get paid to do what you love while being happy, successful, and thriving, the link to our free three-part mini course is in the description below. Thanks for listening.